Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In February of this year, as I posted, Google had announced that in the coming months, they were expanding a safeguard to help protect you and your family from inadvertently encountering explicit imagery on Google search. And as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, they will soon automatically blur explicit images appearing in your search results. Now, just to let you know that Google now has recently announced on the 3rd of August, which was yesterday in my region, some important new features now to basically capitalize um, what they announced back in February. And those are new features in Google search to help you stay in control of your personal information, privacy, and online safety. Now, the first um, is regarding that the new safe search blurring setting is now rolling out for all users globally this month. And um, to check if you have the safe search blur um, setting, it's quite simple to do. Um, just head over to uh, Google search. Head down to the bottom here where you'll see settings. Click on search settings. And yeah, at the top, you'll see safe search. And you just click on manage setting. And there we go. You'll see a uh, blur helps blur explicit images uh, but explicit text and links may show. So that's the setting. And you can adjust your setting and turn it off at any time, says Google, unless a guardian or school network administrator has locked the setting. And then obviously to turn this off, you just click on off, or you can also have the chance to filter and that will turn off that blurring setting to blur explicit images. But nonetheless, that is now rolling out. That helps blur explicit images, which I actually think, as I mentioned previously, is a nice move in the right direction. Now, over and above that, um, while we are talking about explicit images, Google has also announced updated policies on personal explicit images. So they have, and I'm just going to mention this quickly, and I'm quoting, they say, any of your personal explicit images that you no longer wish to be visible in search. Um, as an example, if you created an upload, if you created and uploaded explicit content to a website, then deleted it, you can request its removal from search if it's been published elsewhere without approval. So those are the updated policies on personal explicit images, kind of falling in line with blurring explicit images, which with that blur function, I think if you are a concerned parent, may be a nice move in the right direction, as I mentioned. Now, the other um, new change uh, regarding um, important new features in Google search to help you basically stay in control of your personal information is that Google has said that uh, in the coming days, um, they're rolling out a new dashboard that will let you know if web results with your contact information are showing up on search. And this is just a GIF taken from that announcement using the Google app to give us a general idea. Now I'm quoting this, they say, uh, basically what this means is you can quickly request the removal of those results from Google right in the tool and they'll also notify you when new results from the web containing your contact info pop up in search to give you added peace of mind. Now, basically how this will all work, as we can see, is you can access this tool in the Google app by clicking on your Google account photo and selecting results about you. Or you can visit this site, which um, isn't available as yet in my region, because at the moment, um, this site, Google says, this is a tool that is available in the US in English to start and they will be working to bring it to new languages and locations soon. So um, you can obviously use that option in your Google app on your phone, or you can head over to this site um, if you are in the US. And obviously, I'll leave a link to this website down below if you do find yourself uh, in the US. But nonetheless, uh, just letting you know um, about these new um, features that Google says will help you and your family stay in control of your personal information privacy and online safety. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.